Father, I just want to pause and say thank you and how much I love you. This morning I sat here in silence, no coffee, no food, no cell phone. I just sat here this morning, I call this my Bayview chair. And I just sat in the chair and the water was glistening and gentle and sunny and <sighs> I was just gonna say, how did I get here? And before I could get the question out, I just started crying because I was a sinner. I broke all the commandments. I worshiped a false God. I did not come to faith until I was 41. And I don't deserve this. When I was a little girl, I wanted to live near the beach, on the beach, around the beach, somewhere where water was, because that was my happy place. And then life and sin and workaholic and divorce and clutter and chaos and noise and pride and greed and so forth. And then someone told me about a savior who died for all of mankind. And that if we just believe, if we just repent, if we just trust, if we just receive this precious gift called salvation, words I'd never heard before, mercy and grace and compassion and love, real love and truth and wisdom and knowledge and understanding and, and gentleness and faithfulness and self-discipline and, and all-consuming fire. A God above is an all-consuming fire for man below. And we just got to stop doing life on our own. Admit that we need this savior because the alternative is hell. We don't talk about hell. We don't preach about hell, but it is a real place. And why? Why go there? Why go there? God, help people to surrender. You call the waves and the wind to be still. And man rises up against you. You cause us to just... We're never going to fully understand it. Never. Never. I've been reading the Bible since 2008. I still don't understand your mercy, your grace, your love, your patience in my life. And that I am not condemned, but forgiven. And that I can hear your voice. And the Holy Spirit dwells in me and guides me and instructs me and encourages me and reminds me. God, I can cry and walk and talk and worship and pray and sing and dance and weep and be angry and upset but not sin. I can tell you all about it and you already know and you care and you listen. I can trust you. That was my biggest issue in life. When my parents divorced, I was walking in the wilderness looking for love in all the wrong places. And today I'm your daughter forever and ever. Amen. Nothing can change that. And you want to love me. You want fellowship with me. It pleased you to give us Jesus. And Jesus, it gave him joy to go to the cross because he knew what was on the other side. And he said, I will not leave you as orphans, but I will send you a comforter and he will guide you into all truth. Not the world's truth, not my personal opinion and my feelings, but truth, life-saving, sustaining truth. Hmm. I wasn't going to say all that. I was just checking on my soup. I have it down on low. This is my second time making chicken noodle soup. And I just turned it on low. And I just, the water and the waves keep calling my attention. And when I saw the white caps, I said, I'm going to video that. <laughs> I was just going to video it. I wasn't going to say anything. But I'm grateful. I love you. God, I needed you and you helped me twice. You always helped me, but I needed you and you helped me twice. And I love you so much, so much. Thank you for yesterday, my visit with my son and my mom. Thank you for my six pennies. Thank you for the teen table last night. Thank you for my yellow roses from Robin. Thank you for my devotional this morning, our time together, your faithfulness, your steadfast faithfulness. It's Lent God and Catholics do it differently. I just want to spend 40 beautiful days with you and I want to hear what you have to say to me. 
and I want to walk in obedience and holiness and truth and righteousness and I want to be an ambassador I want to be an ambassador and I need you to tell me what to give up what to let go what to start doing what to stop doing I need you father every fiber of my being all that I am inside and out I need thee Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done in Denise's life as you ordained before the foundation of the world. I just want to say I love you so very much. I love you. In Jesus' name, amen.